Up, defense up, defense up, defense up, the barbarian of the conquer the impossible, and a plus on in, Schmitty, looks like a million bucks over here, Schmitty, good work. So here we go, we're gonna be Herman, Herman Lake Catholic, he's in the green, Herman taking on Ernest of Wadsworth in the red, he's on your right. So here we go, 106 pounds, Wadsworth, Grizzly Invitational Guard, two takedown. There it is, Brock Herman right out of the gate for Lake Catholic. So, escape for Ernest 2 1 Herman, Lake Catholic. Herman in Shot down, shot down. Herman in deep, splits the middle with his score. Put him in danger! And I'm gonna hook that down fire. leg. Keep that foot straight. I'm gonna really go for it. Get hot enough, get hot all the way, all the way up. Look, push the knee, hyper extend, push There's the knee. There's an invitational tournament, could be looking get for some near run. falls here. Herman looking for it. Yeah, see, get the knee, push the knee. Turn, turn, turn. Two takedown, Herman, Brock Herman, driver's seat here for the Lake Adler. He is up four to one right now. Let's work hard, yes! So Herman. Ernest won. Forty seconds remains here. Take this 4 2 lead. 13 seconds left in the first into the second. And shots. We're off the mat. We're going to get a restart here. Herman of Lake Catholic in the green. 4 2 lead right now on Ernest of Watt. Herman first, Ernest is going to choose underneath. Coaches, we need you to look at your bag, you were getting your coaches bag. Let them go, we're going to move out just like that. We need you to fill that out right out today. Great okay. finals last okay. year. We're gonna finish this. Yes. Yeah. No. Looking to come up the back door is Herman. Right on through the body. Push Herman four three up on the board. He gets another takedown. Six three. Herman. He is up. Now, we're going to come up and out. Gentlemen, I'm here with Dwight. Now he's going to try to fire it up. He's Ernest. All the gentlemen in the corner behind that one. Shot. Off the net, there's a stall warning on green. Guy winning 6 to 4 gets warned for stall. Got a little takedown. Bizarre. Herman going over to three points, slowing things down. 50 seconds remains here. In the bow. Herman now up on, stuck underneath. Now a barrel roll attempt here by Herman to take 
take down Herman. I'm going to lose the eight to four. Herman for stalling, I don't know. He's, wear, he's wearing green in the cold green. I'm so confused right now. The guy with all the takedowns and all the offense got called for stalling. It doesn't make any sense. I don't even know what stalling is anymore, folks. Couldn't even tell you. Oh, nice, beautiful, hard man return there by Herman. Rock Herman. Scott Hebner teaches it. Back trip. Back trip. Good job, Brock. Good job. Is that what you want? Timing Scott Hebner in the seat. Look how Wanger squared over the seat for Wadsworth. For Ernest. Hey, Brock. It's a chance on top where he hasn't been yet. Not looking cradle is Ernest. Brock Herman the Lake Catholic has dominated this match thus far. He chose underneath in the third. Four seconds remaining. Wrestle here, wrestle here. And tough on top here. Right boot in. Ernest not doing anything. Well, they got to try and turn him right now. So right now, it is Ernest trying to get something going with Herman. Four-point lead. Yeah. Four lead. He has been one for stalling once. Let's see if it matters at all. Here comes the towel over. Ten seconds left. Not much time to go here, and it looks like Lake Catholic's going to become the first champion tonight with Brock Herman. He's going to get defense soap to uh, go along and, and defend what he built here. So there it is, Brock Herman, a Lake Catholic, your first champion of the night. And your champion, 106 pounds from Lake Catholic, Rock Herman. Now, the 113 pound weight flight is sponsored by the Broom family. Yeah, really good thing. Yeah, that's not good. Really Wrestling for 56 plays from Perry on the Lake, Pop Christian. Faces from the world. On the mat matches brought to you by Defense Up, Defense Up, Defense Up, Defense Up, Barbarian Repair, All Conquer the Impossible, and of course, of course, Schmitty's Corner Rugs. You should see him in action. So here we go at 113 pounds, your championship points. Gessler going to be in red. Crosby. 
in the green, Crosby to the Andrew, body Andrew, right Andrew, away. Andrew. Got the seat line. belt. We just went over this. Crosby Andrew, not able to do anything with it. Gessler's gonna get. Keep his head down there. Keep his head down. Legs. Out of that one, no problems there. Now Crosby, Gessler. You could be looking at a preview of the state championship final match at 113 pounds in the state of Ohio in Division Two. So Crosby, Gessler. Oh, overtie shot go behind now. And now looking to lift is Gessler. He's going to lose it. Both guys have had basically a surefire takedown and have not capitalized off it because the other guy wrestles to the position. You love to see it. You just love to see it. Hard wrestling from all positions. So this is your 113-pound championship final here at the Wadsworth Grizzly Invitational GIT 2020 Toughest One Day Tournament in the state of Ohio. I don't think there's any question about that. You know what? The Selesky Bay Conference is a tough tournament. It's a one day -er. And it's got more teams, so maybe we'll see. Maybe we'll see. But right now, I'm going to say this is the toughest one day tournament. So Crosby, Gessler. Shot Gessler left handed, head inside. So Crosby, is he going to be able to do anything with it? Gessler's going to take him out of bounds. Crosby's been in on some shots, and him and Gessler have been able to neutralize one another. And Gessler on that four point really can't do much to him when he's there. He had a barn burner with Matt in the finals at the Medina. Lost a match on rideouts. We're inside of 25 seconds now. Left handed head inside, single leg splits the middle. Does Gessler now? Crosby scrambling Elevated. with the ankles. Now he's got a head outside, looking to get his head underneath is Crosby, 12 seconds remains, Bopper's out, and Gessler's not gonna score, Crosby's not gonna score. Tons of action, great action as a matter of fact. Nobody scores in that first, and that, that's hard fought action there, folks. That's what we like to call good wrestling. Because that's what it is, choice. Gessler are going to go underneath the start. You're the winner. So up and out right away is Gessler. Oh, beautiful go, 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 shot by Crosby. Splits the medal, and now Gessler and him in a 50-50 here. And Gessler are going to be on the shot now. Now Chris Crosby on his shot. Gessler could cradle him up here. Gessler is in a pretty good position right now. Crosby not in a great position at all. Hanging on to that single. We're going to score. It's Nolan Gessler of Graham. Oh my goodness. Kenny Crosby has just man grip strength. Holy smokes. He breaks it. Now he blocks it back up. Oh my goodness. Crosby has superhuman grip strength. Oh my God. I don't know how he did that. That's not easy to do. You know that's not easy to do, right? It's not easy to do, right? Blood here. Blood timeout. Gessler, Crosby, two of your top guys in the state, locking it up here in the GIT Finals. So, here we go back to action here, we got a little bit more blood on. Crosby. Kenny Crosby at Sink D. One of my favorite guys in D2 to watch, guys. Pretty fun to watch with some explosive stuff. Now Gessler. Gessler's got him again. He doesn't do it. He keeps beating him on the corner. But 
Russell to the position, tries an inside trip now, does Gessler on Crosby. And now Crosby kind of like into the body there. Come up with it. Come up with it. Gessler's massive though. Huge size advantage, at least height on Crosby. So let me start 45 seconds remains here. Second period, 1 0 lead. Nolan Gessler of Graham in the Red Angle Man. Taking on Kenny Crosby of St. V. The hand fight's going here hard. Both guys kind of biding their time and waiting here now. Crosby goes four point. Trying to chase now. Gessler drops on the head outside. Five seconds remains. And it looks like Crosby's going to hang on. It's his choice going into the third. Get one right now. More blood here. Start the third down one out to Gessler on Graham. And we've seen Crosby here before where he's got to get out. And he's been ridden before by Zach Matten in the finals of a big tournament in Medina. But man, it was, it was something to see because they were scrapping. A 1 0 match where they're throwing each other all over the mat. Crazy scrambles. It was great to watch. Crosby's up and out. We've got a tie match here. 1 1 bout. Crosby Gessler. Both guys have had plenty of chances here. Gessler's been on some deep shots, and he has had Crosby on multiple occasions. That's a good no call. That is a good no call. And Gessler's like over tie shucked him a couple times. Hasn't scored yet. Been in a bunch of shots. Hasn't scored yet. He's going to get this one, maybe. He's got it now. Gessler's got to score here. There it is. Two takedown Gessler. Now he's got that down low turkey. He's going to get some near falls here, too. Unless Crosby can pull the rabbit out of the hat or fight off his back somehow. Now he cannot grab his foot like that and pull it. That's actually illegal. It's actually illegal. You can post the foot, you can't pull it. He pulled it. And there's a stall on Gessler. Should have been an illegal hold as well. The interpretation was if he arches it towards his head, which he did. But instead, it did get stalled. So, up and out, 3 2 now. Gessler has taken all the really good shots and had, should have had a bunch more takedowns, but Crosby's such a tips. Hard to deal with guy who moves. He wrestles through a bunch of really good positions that are tough. Now Crosby not in a good position again. Gessler should score. This one's gonna hook that down foot. Gonna hook it and Gessler. Oh wow, nine seconds left, seven seconds left. Gessler. Is he gonna hang on? He is. Gessler gonna hang on for a title here. And Wadsworth is gonna knock off Kenny Crosby. Flexes on him. He's pumped. So Nolan Gessler and Graham to get their first chance of the day.
Defense, up, defense, up, defense, up, defense, you built. Barbarian apparel conquered the impossible. And my man, Schmitty with the corner rugs. Schmitty, get from the back. Here we go, championship final, 120 pounds. It's going to be Garrett Donahue of Parkersburg. He'll have a big P on his back for Parkersburg. This is the guy with the big M on his back for Mason. That is Dominic sure. Petulio. Petulio. Petulio in the green. Got Donahue. Red. 120 final Wesley Invitational 2020 here at Wadsworth. So, Donahue. Parkersburg, the Tulio of Mason. Mason, a Division I two team in Ohio, in the Cincinnati area. The Tulio in the green from Mason. You're okay, don't worry about no, it. No, I'm not okay. I'm sorry. It's so 120 pound final here. I'm sorry, seriously. Oh, yeah. So it's Donahue, seriously. Parkersburg, out of Parkersburg, West Virginia. Tutulio Mason. Tutulio pushing to the edge here. Tutulio's got a lock. Pulling him back in. Tutulio looking to dump this down. Oh. Now we got the Shin Wizard who trips it forward. did a good job of kind of scrambling through that and no takedown. Pretty good no call. Pretty good no call. Seems a good officiating so far tonight. So another deep shot for Detulio. Detulio of Mason in the green. Donahue of Parkersburg in the red. Tulio looking for this. He's got this one though. No, nothing yet. Nothing yet. And now he's got it controlled here. Tulio got 10 seconds to ride here with the end of the period here in the first Grizzly Invitational Tournament here at Wadsworth and Mason looking for their first champion tonight. Heavy, 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 heavy. And Tulio going to ride here to take a 2-0 lead into the second here at 120 pounds. Parkersburg going to be underneath to start the second. He's down 2-0 to Dominic Tatulio Tatulio of Mason out of the greater Cincinnati area. Parkersburg out of West Virginia, your only out-of-state team here today. We are in Ohio at the GIT Grizzly Invitational Tournament. And now maybe looking to reversal here is Donahue. Stalemate down, he's still going to be underneath in control. Still the Tulio. So the Tulio will be on top here. 116 remains here in the second. Brought to you by my man Schmitty's, Schmitty's Corner Rugs class up your event with Schmitty's Corner Rugs. Schmitty, the kid from the valley. And now DeTulio. Fine tilt here. Donahue of Parkersburg. Got to find an escape here. DeTulio's doing a nice job. That's going to be potentially dangerous. So he gives him his first potentially dangerous. Next one will be a stall call. On Dutilio, and I like what the official did there. That's pretty thorough, I like it. Told the 
Tulio. Next time it happens, it's going to be a stall on you, basically. Tulio with a nice ride on Donahue right now. The Tulio of Mason working tough on top here. 43 seconds left in the second. And I believe Mason wears Barbarian Apparel. I'm just going to put it out there. Now we could see a Peterson. Got it. Does Donahue. And they call the reversal. How is it red? They're saying red? that's red's control. control. Now they're going two reversal green. Now one red. So out of that exchange, it's going to end up being four to three. So four three after that. So. 4-3 to Tulio. It's his choice going in third. He's going to go down. Tulio chooses to go underneath. So, Tulio still has a lead. It's just not 2-0. It's 4-3. He chose underneath. We're going to have a caution on Donahue Parker's burger on top. Matches brought to you by the Self-defense, self-defense, which you built. And Donahue, Garrett Donahue is going to have to make something happen. He needs a turn on top. He looks like he might be nasty on top. Good start to the period, first 10 seconds at least. Tulio has a stall to give. He just needs to not get turned basically at this point. One on one on the left side right now. He's down here, down here, going to go through the blues. He tied three to Tulio Mason. Is he going to shut it down or continue to wrestle here? Donnie has got to come after him at this point. Donnie has got to go get one. This is to Tulio's to win. He's in the driver's seat. 5 3 lead. This is green for Mason, Ohio. Shot a crackdown now. Donahue's in a good spot to score here. And it looks like Tulio is comfortable there, bizarrely enough. It's kind of readjusting. And Tulio hanging on here. And right now at this point, if Donahue could kick over like that, he'd be in a substantially better position. And now maybe the Tulio bails. And Tulio hanging on. Here. Now he sits corner. There it is. Donahue's going to get it with 26 seconds left. It's 5 5. An escape for Natulio wins it. Right out sends us to overtime here at 120 pounds at the Grizzly Invitation. And there it is. Shin Wizard. Now for Natulio, and he's just got to kick out. And we're off the mat. Second trip means here it's a 5 5 bout between Garrett Donahue, Parker's Burger in the red, and Dominic Tatulio in the green of Mason. So Donahue covers Tatulio. If he can get this escape, he'll win this match. And now if he gets his leg back, he can get this in three seconds. He clears! There's one with time is expired! Tatulio's gonna win it as time expires with an escape. Holy smokes. And they're going to put a second back on, actually. Holy now, smokes. Back up. Five. And Tulio's going to win this one in a barn burner, 120 pounds. He'll get some defense soap to clean all the dirt off of that, that nasty win. Wow, what a win. What a win. Tulio with the escape as time expires for Mason. Wow. What, what? You did a great job, too. <laughs> that was bizarre. And finishing in third place from Oswald, Mikey Warchek. Here we 
go. 126 pound Wadsworth Lane. This is the Invitational GIT. Comes one day tournament in Ohio brought to you by my man. The Corner Hogs. And. In defensive, defensive, built. We got a Wadsworth Graham final here at 126 pounds. We're going to look at Landon Hacker. Wadsworth, if he ever forgets his name, he can look on his shoulder. And Nick Hart Graham. Hard part to be in green. Hacker. in red, heart in green. Uh, this is your 126 pound championship final here. And Wadsworth, beautiful Wadsworth, Ohio. All your champs get a bar defense, so. And Hacker, he's in the red. Your offense, Lando. Lower! We need all. Lando Hacker. Hacker in on the right hand Anderson, Anderson single leg. Hart tries to jump out of it. Now he turns and faces. And Hacker drives him off. Gentlemen, you are now wrestling. We declare that on the black line away from the match. All spectators leave back behind the black line away from the match. Thank you. Good shots, Landon. Play dead. So right now, we've got a scoreless about 45 seconds remains here in the first. Hacker, Hart, scoreless here. Front headlock right now by Hart. 20 seconds remains here. First period, scoreless bout. 126 pound Grizzly Invitational Tournament. We're going to get Stanley Tulsa's remains here in the first. Hart and Hacker toe the line. End of the first five seconds remains. We're going to have a scoreless first between Hart, Graham, and Hacker. Match is brought to you by Schmidty's Corner Rugs. The last up here event with Schmidty's Corner Rugs. They're doing it here at Wadsworth. They know. They know. They protect their mats. They don't want those chairs staying in the mats. Good work. Hart underneath to start the second. Score is out. Hacker covers right through that immediately. Flattens Hart out. This looks like a hard ride. I don't think it looks like it is a hard ride. You gotta open up. You gotta open it up. Keep working, man. Hacker with the dude. Tattoo. Sweet tattoo. What's your say, dude? What's your say? Sweet. You don't get the reference? You don't get the joke? You got it now? A hacker might pin him. And I'm talking about tattoos and he had him. Oh! Hacker with a punishing ride right now. Dude, what's your say? Sweet, what's your say? Hacker. Very rarely do I get the coach to laugh. Very rarely do I get the coach to laugh. This guy's punishing people on top, he gets a laugh on You got it, man? You got it? Okay. We're going to have a stale 3-0 lead off of a just punishing, savage turn from Wadsworth's Landon Hacker, or maybe I'll call him Lando. That's what uh, Coach Wenger's calling him. It's all the cool kids are doing now. And Hart up again. And the first one, okay, so they warn Hacker. Let me tell you about the progression of this. The next time Hart does that, and Hacker does it again, Hacker will get named for stall. Check that. Okay, so we told Hacker, which I like that. 
I, li I like the rule set now when they warn Hacker to start because it, the onus is on the top man to, to keep the bottom man down. And now he might be going split. I might go Bo Nickel. Puts him down on the mat. That was nice. Hart did the little rough what he wanted to do thing. And Hacker found a little window to put him back down. And now he's got this punishing right boot ride. Oh my goodness. This is just... There's 25 seconds. This couldn't end soon enough. This period for Nick Hart and Graham. And it was Nick Hart's choice. And I'll tell you what. I like landing Hacker on top. I'm putting him back on top. I'm going Mitch Carr tick top. I'm just saying. But he could give an escape up. He could take him down. He got a 3-3 match. I don't know. It's like Clay Wainer's the genius with the uh, vest on with me. And that is going to be the end of the third. Going into the third. Or into the second. Hacker's doing... He's doing the opposite of what I said. He's going under. Now Hart... Yes. Hart is going to go neutral. It's going to be 4-0 Hacker. You pick down. So 4-0 Hacker have to be escaped. You know, the first was scoreless, so this is the right choice for Hart. I don't know. He doesn't know how he can be on top. Maybe he turns him. I don't know. Maybe Hacker's a cream puff on the bottom. You never know. Maybe he's try. I don't know. Punishing turn. Off your knees. Him up. He wants that there. Circle up. This is 126 pounds. CIT it. final. Match is brought to you by Schmidt's Corner Rugs. What? Defensive, 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 and a barbarian and barbarian could be impossible. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. He's right here. We're going to see a stall here on the edge for Hacker. We're wrong there. I like that we're wrong. It's good when we're wrong about that. I like that. I was wrong. Oh, I like being wrong. That's okay. Hart picking up his hand fight. Hacker in on a double. Head stuck in the middle, though. And he's not going to want to chase this bad position or he's going to get thrown by like that. But we're going to over under now and he goes head inside single leg off of it. 55 seconds remains here, third period. Landon Hacker of Wadsworth trying to get him on the board. Jam. They are winning the team title here. And Hart's got to go get something going. 45 seconds remains here, third period. No! Shot here. Hart covering him with shots. Hart's got to pick it up here. He's got to go feet the back at this point. 30 seconds remains. In the center, keep working. Circle up. And now he's going to run around and try and score here. Got 20, 20 remaining. Hacker, looking to be Wadsworth's first champ of the night. It's the second finalist. Hacker toes the line here. 126 looking to knock off Nick Hart of Graham. Hart still coming at him. And the Grizzlies needed a champ here. They're going to get one with Landon Hart on the strength of a punishing turn in the second period. Ugh, I don't want that in my life. And there it is. Hacker going to be the first chance of the Grizz. He gets the left.
Championship final here. You're okay, man. Well, if you don't, that's not your head. Right. Yeah, you don't want to change it. 2020. Okay. Matthew Brunke by the fence up the fence up the village of Bill Garbarian Apparel. Of course, my man, Schmitty Schmitty's Corn Rugs. Passing up the joint. In on a shot right away from CBCA is Matt Williams. Williams up 2 0 here for CBCA. I don't have Alec Christian Academy. Academy is taking on Ethan Smith of Lake Catholic. Smith underneath with the white and green silver. So Smith. Watch that arm. Watch that arm. Come up and back. Williams 2 0. Oh, hey. Smith underneath. Williams on top 2 0. 
on CBC, oh, CBC and him. the Black Sea, but Williams and CBC, Red Ankle Man, Black Sea, covers. Easy Smith, Lake Catholic in the green. Five pot immediately up to his feet. And we're gonna escape here. Oh, nasty left. Oh my goodness. Looking for a fall here. The fall left. Great fight underneath now for Smith. Oh my goodness. And Williams went there. He went full. Nasty claw left and turn. He's up 4 0 now. Oh, he puts him on his head. Oh, it was a one on one. I've never even seen that. That was crazy. Matt Williams is a horse. Smith down 4 0 here to Williams. Tilting with the claw, he getting some swipes there. Smith wrestles to the position, doesn't give up any backs. Gets claw lifted and rotated for two, but doesn't give up any on that. And with the end of the period, 4 0 lead, net lane, CDCA going to the second. So, that was impressive. For Williams and Williams dominating her 6-0 over Ethan Smith, Lake Cat, 150 pounds championship final, Grizzly Invitational Tournament, toughest one-day tournament in all of Ohio. Now he is just what he's doing with that one-on-one -on -one is nasty. Oh, and he goes half opposite side, runs him over, could be looking for a fall here. And CBC is Matt Williams looking for a fall, and Smith is fighting for all he's worth. Oh my goodness, great fight underneath. Oh my gosh, that is just hammer top work. Hard fight on the bottom. Wow, that's huge credit to Ethan Smith, the late Catholic. I'm not sure what he's doing. He's really hiding his right arm in the one on one really well. If you look, it's, a, it's a, like a side, one-on-one, -on -one, like a Blair ride. He runs it over again. He could be looking for a fall, and that's probably going to do it. Smith's not getting out of that one. And Matt Williams picks up the fall with a brutal barrage of top work. And Williams going to be your champ here at 132 pounds. Grizzly Invitational Tournament for CBCA and
38 pound Iron Man plays the returning state monitor up here. Look at Nick Moore of Grand. He'll grab your head like an old leather football, bounce it off the mat. Right elbow. Maybe give you some, some business with some type of mixer from the front. Both brothers at Virginia Tech currently, both state champions. Multiple time more head outside shot, loses a tough match to Decatur last year in the final. He's in on a shot of Bo Moeller. Moeller gonna give up a takedown on the edge here for Parkersburg. And a 2-0 lead more. Moeller in the red with the big P on his back for Parkersburg, West Virginia. Top right now, 2 0 more. We're off the mat. We're gonna get a restart here. 50 seconds remaining. There is a 2 0 lead, and more might have tweaked his knee a little bit there. Walking back to the center, kind of gingerly. Looks like he's got a couple knee pads on it as well. So if you're both more, you just gotta get your pace going. Get up off the bottom. Stay away from the catchers. Get up and get some movement here. 35 seconds left in the first period here. 138. That's just probably better fence up, defense up, defense up. They come Barbarian apparel, conquer the impossible. And of course, my man, Schmitty. Schmitty's corner runs, and there's the tilt. So, we'll see if he can get it. Got 18 seconds to get some near balls here. Moeller got to avoid giving up the swipes here. If he could go into the second here. 10 seconds left, we'll just down 2-0. Get to some holds. We can roll with more. So here we go, 2-0 into the second. And more definitely, obviously the knee looks. Your finisher in place But he's probably a Big Ten caliber guy, and he's going to find out that sometimes these are the things you got to do, and this is probably what makes this guy one of your top recruits in the junior class in Ohio, Nick Moore. I haven't seen a commitment yet out of him, but I got a pretty good idea. And Bo Moeller doing a good job hanging here. He chose neutral. Moeller's got to get something going here. for more. Okay, we're gonna get some attacks going. Collar tie. Now digging a hook is more. More sixth at the Iron Man at 138 pounds for Graham, their only placer. Asking if there's any blood. Officials can't find any. Wipes it on a single 2-0 lead more of Graham. Moeller in on a shot, kind of shoots into an underhook there. And now this is where Moeller's got to be careful. Can't have him bouncing his head off the mat. One ten remains in the second. Two will lead Moeller. And there he goes. Kind of a little hip tip there. Gator roll, hip tip. Spin go behind for Moeller. Yeah, yeah. 45 seconds remains. Pulls Moeller back in bounds. Moore is really limping hard. I tell you what, he's dominating with a bad wheel. So 
more showing you why he's probably uh, tougher than the average junior in high school. Up 4 0 dominating Homer or Parkersburg, West Virginia. Moeller got to try and steal this escape. Off the mat, we're going to get a restart. Moeller, probably choice. I don't know, man. We can go neutral. Or, or, I don't know. He's been dominated in two positions. Maybe, maybe go Mitch Clark. Maybe go take top. I don't know. I don't know what you do. I don't want to be the Parker's for coaches right now. Got a tough decision. Man, why I don't coach, I'm very weak minded. And he is going to not go Mitch Clark, he's going to go Ohio neutral. The West Virginia guy goes Ohio. So he's got to get a takedown here. Nice hard tie. There it is. Mulder's got something going. He's into the hips now. Nice right-handed head inside single leg. He's driving up to it. Got to create an angle here. Got to rotate his hips. And instead he slows down, lets him catch his foot. And now if he can punch up to the middle, it's easier said than done. Mulder's a horse, even if he's on one wheel right now. So, Bo Moore got some attacks going there. He's got something to work. He's got a minute 33 to get something going here. And I saw a slide by attempt there. And another takedown for Moral Ice, this thing. 120 remains. Third period. There's a shot. The guy is shooting with a bum wheel and he's going to ice this with a takedown. So, if you're wondering about how tough Nick Moore is, I think you're seeing right now how tough he is. Because I don't know how bad it is, but it's probably not good. Probably not good at all. 6 0 lead. Graham looking for their second champ of the night here at 138. Moeller could have pulled that leg in, we could have a different match, but more a horse. So Brent and Mitch at Virginia Tech. If I were a betting man, I'd bet with Blacksburg, but not a betting man. I like to keep all my money. 34 seconds after 6 0, and he's going for the major decision. He's got swipes there. That is going to be two. And if you're not impressed, you should be. Nick Moore is going to come back and win this thing after losing a tough final last year to Jacob Decatur. Actually, Jordan Decatur. Jack Lat. He is going to knock off Bo Moeller of Parkersburg, West Virginia, and take an 8-0 major decision for Graham and their second champion of the night.
Division II Ohio High School State Championship final here. We shall see. Should be interesting. So, shot by Martin right out of the gate. Left handed, head inside. Single leg. And Cumberledge meeting him with his hips. Martin trying to rotate to it. That pressure. Cumberledge. And Martin sticking with that single leg on the left-handed side. And Martin's burning a lot of energy on this first shot. It's eating up a better part of 40 seconds of the match. And we're gonna stop, we're gonna get a stalemate and restart. 118 remains here in the first period. Martin took the first shot. By Martin Cumberledge. Shot Martin right outside. He's been on two deep shots. Swims, catches the opposite leg. And that's probably going to be two Martin. Is. The two kick down Martin. Quad caught immediately for Cumberledge. Cumberledge maybe looking to hop his hips over. Claw right on top. Thigh pry for Martin. 42 seconds remains. One escape. Cumberledge Martin is all over his legs. And the left handed head inside single leg. Oh my goodness. Puts him down on his hips. And Martin readjusts here. Oh my goodness. Oh, he had the head right, but. Great defense by Cumberledge. Hey, he gotta move. Gotta move. Got bailed out by the official. Hey, gotta move. Thought Martin had him and he rushed through the position. Right into Cumberledge. We Martin. Martin looks like he's been hitting the old tanning bed there in down in Champaign County. What do you think? You've been hitting the tanning bed over there in the Champaign County? Sure. It looks like it, right? Good for him. There's not much snow or not much sun there. Not much sun there. We've worked on there, you know. You know, you know. So coming to John Top here, two one lead on Martin. Martin. Alec Martin Graham looking to come up and out. He gets one. He's all over the left hand and head inside single leg. And this is his fourth one. Coming has just been doing a really good job of meeting him and, and scrambling and fighting him and jockeying the position and making him spend a ton of energy. So it's going to pay off for Cumberland's action. We'll see. All the offense coming from Alec Martin and Graham so far. And I mean all of them. And there's another shot. Cumberland's got to get a shot at it. Keep moving, guys. Keep moving. No breaks. No breaks. And there's another shot by Martin. We could actually see Cumberland get dinged for stalling. But at some level, he's got to be wearing Martin out. Now there's a shot from Cumberland. Walking the line here, man. He's got to hook that leg. Nothing bad. 40 seconds left here. Martin in some trouble. Oh, he could get dinged here. Could be, could be a fall. Cumberland's looking for it. There it was. Oh, he caught him rolling through. Now there it is. Oh, there it is. Cumberland's finds the big move. He scrambles through the only shot he's taken. He catches it on his back for two and two. Cumberlands had it! Wow! I thought he pinned him! Wow! Cumberlands readjust, but great fight by Martin! 35-3! Holy smokes! Your Cumberlands, it's your choice! You're going into the third! Probably gonna go underneath! He's taking 
one shot and it was a doozy. So Martin took him out six and he's got to be tired. That guy's taking six or seven shots, deep shots that he's almost finished and gotten into these like crazy scrambles or just being contested by Cumberledge and there's another shot by Martin. And at this point, I don't know if there's much speed behind him. Martin is just taking ground. 6-3 though, I mean he can afford it, he's got stalls to give. Keep his head down! Oh, that was nice. Cumberland just got like a bag of tricks, man. Keep running, keep running, know where you are, know where you are, know where you are! See Nate Balls here? He wrestles in all the positions. He's looking for another takedown here. Absolutely exhausted at this point. Everything is thrown at him. Cumberland just had like a counter answer to it. And there's another shot by Cumberland. Not a real one though. Now he can pancake him. You could actually just run him over at this point. Cumberland has Martin early exhausted at this point. One minute remains, third period, eight three, Cumberledge. And this is a great match. There's a reversal, we're going to make it eight five. So we're back, back within, you know, one score here. Three near fall ties this. Watch that shoulder. Arm behind the back, now he's got the claw. Cumberledge's going to get a restart off the potentially dangerous. Second three here. Third period, 143 final. Aurora looking for a champ here. Rams already got two. And, oh, that was nice how he worked that hand on the back. Really nice. And, I love that the official stayed out of this match with the stalling. That was good. And now, looking for a tilt. Is Martin. He's got to watch getting in there. And the skate going to make it 9-5. And now Cumberland. 9-5 lead. Martin got to go feet the back here. Five seconds left. There's the stall. He runs away. So many shots and was so exhausted. Yes. Dude, let's go! Everything off. Yeah. Every shot off. Yeah. Six deep shots on him. That was awesome. Yeah. That was like that was what college game. matches are like. Yes. A lot of your college matches end up, you know, just like that. You got the dude who's just like working and working and working and working. But you're taking so many shots. Just like when and when and when. But normally that guy wins. That guy who chops wood wins. Right? Yeah, no, yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Well, college is four. Yeah. Even worse. Right? I love it. I love the four point move. Points for a take. I, I agree with that. Yeah. Like the two to one escape. It's you know, yeah. It should be. You should be. Yeah. Uh, all right. Here we go. Let's go, Ty. Now, one hundred and fifty-two pound championship final. We're going to see. Charlie. Check that. Aurora. Lillard. Lillard of Aurora. He is going to be in the great big man. He's going to be taking on. Your top guys in visual in Ohio, Derek Fields of Brunswick. From St. Paris, France, Trace Broad. 
NC State, don't turn your back on the Wolfpack. Coach Popolizio, Adam Hall, I like what they're doing there. His brother's already there. So, and he puts together attack upon attack upon attack. This guy can chain Russell. He's good, I'll take him on the squad. So Aurora with two finalists in a row here, Lillard. 152 pounds, the champion at 145, David Cumberledge. And then, we're gonna see, we're not gonna see Fishback today. At 160. Nothing doing yet here. We got 45 seconds left here in the first period. 152 pounds. Grizzly Invitational Tournament here in Wadsworth, beautiful Wadsworth, Ohio. Right, Brad? Yeah. All right. And there's a little half shot now. Fun to lock. For Lillard. Short arms bouncing. Use that. Use And everybody I've seen fields Russell this year. You know, I didn't see him with the Iron Man, but he's blowing everybody's doors off. Beat Kevin Contos pretty decisively. And Medina in the semis. Fields choice underneath right away. Hey, Lillard will be on top. Second period, here we go. And Lillard not gonna try and ride him at all. 1-0 lead Fields. Derek Fields will run through. Lillard. Penetrates in there. Now Lillard had him. Now he's got the corner and a seatbelt on him. Fields brother, a state champ from Walsh Jesuit. And a little. He tried the boot scoop in the field. Lillard pushing. Lillard shoots him off. So Lillard down 1 0 here to Fields. Grizzly Invitational Tournament here at Wadsworth. Match is brought to you by my man, Schmitty. Schmitty's Corner Rugs, Class of Your Event. Protect your match. Do what Schmitty does. Protect your mats from the coaches' chairs. It's the toughest, because it's the toughest one day tournament in Ohio, you're right. Because it is. Fields in on a right hand ahead of the side single leg with 45 seconds left in the second period. Dragon Lillard back into the not out of bounds. And looking to cut across, nothing yet. Got the foot shelf. And nothing yet. Lillard showing some great flexibility here in the finals of the toughest one day tournament in Ohio. Here's the Invitational Tournament. They, they call it two? Whoa. And Wadsworth coaches are not happy about it. Can't even really. Can't even really. No way that was a take down. Nice one. Didn't look like 
I can take down from here, but hey, hey, I don't hey, really have a good piece. I got half coaches this kind of. Dusky Bay Conference Tournament, which is like 22 teams, wow. that's a one-day tournament. 15 seconds! So we'll see. We'll see. So it's competition. Yeah, it's competition. Go have fun. So it's Field's going to ride here, take a 3-0 win. Yeah. Gets Willard the state there and takes a 3-1 win for Brunswick and have a champ at 153. Your champion. Hey guys, we're gonna bring awards through right here. Guys, step back, sir, get awards, please. Thanks. Thank you. 
Ohio State team this year. Last year it was Reynolds, PA. And each champ getting some defense soap here. Gonna move this back too. And there's a hip toss attempt and two takedown to John Martin Best, and he is going to be up. Four one. Oh no, Messer rustles through it. Not going to give up the escape, and it's a 4-1, John Martin Best, uh, John Martin Best is a horse, man. Holy smokes. Now we got Merkel. Master goes, Merkel! Near falls! Merkel! Oh, ho, ho. John Martin Best is in some trouble, folks! Oh, bag of tricks! That's all Clay Wenger shows is Merkel. Maybe that's you, Coach G. Maybe you're the Merkel guy. I don't know. Four, four. And we got four, four on the board. After John Martin Best dominates the first, he gets Merkel to start the second. Is that you? Is that your stuff? Again. I told him it wouldn't work. Uh, well, you were wrong. You were wrong. I want you to know that. So now it's 5 4 John Martin Best. I'm guessing he might have been strangling him as well. John Martin Best is a horse. Obviously, so is Master if he can murk him. Deep shot, splits the middle. John Martin Best has been on a ton of shots, and we're off the net. We're going to get used to it. is only down 5 4. John Martin yes. Best has dominated the action on the feet. Turn it over under here. Messer get dinged here if he can't work in. He tries to hip toss him again. He did it at the end of the first for a takedown. John Martin Best, as I must point out, is crossing his feet. You can be a horse, but you should be crossing your feet. Oh, that was close. Almost gets a short time takedown again and does not quite get the choice. Masser. Masser's going underneath. He's only down 5 4. And this is some high level wrestling Take down, sprint to the finish here. It's gonna do it. And John Martin Best stalking him. Start faking a little bit more. Master's gotta get something going. Start the left. Gotta fake. Gotta John Martin Best has dominated all the action on their feet. Master's gotta get something going. Probably doesn't want to be in that over under with him. Jack him up. Shove him off. Get your fakes going. Yeah. Come on. Come on, Bass. Come on. Come on. John Martin Best. Use your Parker's speed. Red. Big P on his back for Parker's Bird. Keep going. Level. There you go. And there you Grizzly. go. There you go. Logan Master. John Nice match for the Merkel. Slide by. And there's a shot. Left hand and head inside single leg. That's it. Nothing doing there. Circle. Four. Circle into it. Masser. John Martin Bass is going to get to stall. He is. He's going to get to stall warning on the line. Masser. Masser should have been warned a while back, in my opinion. And he's playing the edge now. 40 seconds left. 
didn't shoot him off. So we're going to get a restart here. Well, we're we're gonna gonna get get Digging hooks, pushing into him. It's his table. It's like all ours. 23 seconds left. Oh, he gave you permission to bump him out of the way. It's yours! I take a corner, man. We're going to see overtime. 15 seconds left. Unless we need the last second takedown. John Martin Best in on a single, gonna run out of real estate there. 10 seconds remains here. 5-5 five, five bout here, 160 pounds. 10 Same seconds finals. Grizzly Invitational Tournament, Tubbs One Day Tournament, all Thanks. of Ohio. How right, are we gonna see overtime? What are we gonna see Good here? Nasser, John Martin Best are going to overtime. Sudden victory, hey. one minute on the clock. Hey, boots go. Dominated the action in the first. Boots good. Kind of slowed his tempo. Master Merkel in the second. Got a 5-5 five, five foul here. We're in sudden victory. Takedown's gonna win this one. Or maybe ride outs, I don't know. Deep shot. And now duck, duck. Master hasn't been doing that all match. Now all of a sudden in overtime he's doing it. He's got some energy, he's renewed. Fast. 25 seconds away from ride outs. You want to get to that third fake, second. Fake, fake, fake. 20 Two. now. Somebody's got to go get it. If you're not comfortable on the mat, and I, if I'm best, I don't want this to go to ride outs. I don't want to get Merkel than ride outs. Now, deep shot. And Master trying to set the corner. Two. I can't see it. Two. That's two. 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 He hooked it. I like that. I like that answer. That was a good answer. Everybody up real quick. I literally just told them my own I like that. We've all moved on. We're all now into sudden victory. We're right out. We've, we've shut our mouths and we've let it go. So. There's a switch, he can get the reversal here. He's gonna win this on the mat. Oh, that was madness. And now he's gonna mark him again. Shut the front door. Shut the front door. He's gonna mark him. Oh, 10 seconds left. He gets a reversal to a miracle. Oh my God. Just ride it. Just ride to Merkel. Just ride to Merkel. Oh my goodness. No, we want entertainment. Throw the Merkel. Oh no, he lets him out. He gets hit. Oh! Oh, what an exchange! It's gonna be 7 7! Oh! No, I didn't. No, I did not. We got a 6 to 9. This is a great match. Did you see that? Two reversal and then one escape. Oh, the same thing. It was continuous. Wait, Did I mess what? Up? That was a continuous. Yeah, at least. Nine to six. They're saying nine to six. Nine to six. Nine to six. Nine to six. That would make Master up by three. I was the wrong ball. It was tied. No, it was up. We were up by two. It should be. No, you're up seven to five. Seven five. So it should be eight seven. Eight seven right. down. Eight seven. You're down. Eight seven. They call the take out of the I didn't know. Eight seven. 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 I'm not sure that was one answer. So now, okay, so now he's got to try and merge it. So fast. Got to know that trick's coming. He does. Fast, going to get a reversal. He's going to be up. 10-7. He's going to be 10 now. And now Master's got to go for this. And what a bananas match. Six seconds. He goes arm throw. 
spins through. John Martin, that's going to be your champ in a barn freaking burner. Call me. You might have paid for the whole seat on that one, but you only needed to use the edge. I'm just saying, G. I'm just saying, all right? Just glad you're here. That was a great match. It was a great match. Great match. Great match. Great match. Nice, man. Return. Again! Again! Look! Step to the side! 
kid from the valley, Schmitty's Corner Rugs. Classic year event with Schmitty's Corner Rugs. He's the best in the biz. He protects your mats. Schmitty's Corner Rugs getting the job done for everybody. Especially here at the Grizzly Invitational Tournament. Hard hands there by Cole Hivner. Dom Leparo. Leparo. Hivner look like they both left a little bit. Their horses. Move it, Dom. You're tied. 182 Move. final. Over under here. Looks like Hivner is wearing him some Rulons. Some original Rulons. Some like 2000. Six rule lines, 2007 rule lines. Shot Hibner, deep shot, left hand ahead inside single leg. Leparo forces him. I don't even know what he did there. It was disgusting, whatever it was. Leparo looks like he uh, might be able to squat a Volkswagen bus. Him and Hibner in scoreless first period here so far. 40 seconds left. In the first. Toughest one day tournament in Ohio, the GIT, the Grizzly Invitation Challenge. Beautiful Wadsworth, Ohio. This was Akron. And maybe a little south. Short time left here. 10 seconds remain. Now, Hibner riding. 
far in on the left side. Boot in on the left. Now, Hibner got to be careful here. That jumps on his back. He jumps up. They got stolen. You can't jump up
Plus. Look, 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 look what Clay Wenger's doing. Look what he's a genius. Get that plot out of there. been given a throwing the headgear, what do we call that, a mis a misconduct? What is that? What's the throwing the headgear? Technical violation? Technical violation. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Check that. Hibner's got some work to do here. Because Dom Aparo, Aparo of Wadsworth, the home school, they're going to win this tournament. What you guys winning by? 80. 80. Okay, they're going to win by a bunch. Aparo doesn't have to win. It'd be nice, though. Cole Hibner got work to do. Boot comes in for Aparo. Other boot comes in. Now we're in the crab. Almost like look, locking hands. It's like real close to locking hands, Paul. He's over the head and the arm. It's hard to tell from the back. And now Lafaro's going to get reversed here or pop his knee out. And he gets a reversal. Now Hipner, 2 2 here. He's going to let him go. Hipner got to be careful here not to get pinned. Lafaro up and out. Hipner takes a shot. Lafaro. Him in the cradle, gonna readjust here, trying to catch that. Hibner tried to roll, kind of almost like yeah, he's have a roll cup, through right? the cradle, like look through it. Now LaParo looking for the ball here. This would be huge for Wadsworth. They're kind of swipes, looking for the ball. Can LaParo get it? Gonna have to readjust. Hibner in some trouble here. 55 seconds left. And there's the ball for Dom LaParo in a bizarre match. 182 pounds. Picks up another champ. So wipes. What a product placement oh, here, guru. I, I love it. There it is. We got, the, we got the new brand. We got the new logo here. New logo, folks. This is the new logo. There we go. There we go. That's the new logo. That's the new defense body weight. Okay, let's try this. Here we go. Here we go. There it is. It's the new. The new new. There it is. Here we go. De Guzman. He's in red. He's kicking on Aurora's. Evan Anderson. Anderson to Guzman. Work that arm into an underhook. Two and one to Guzman. I got him. Circle. And just forces a boss in the head. Guzman. Anderson. Two. One nine to five. The Guzman is pretty bent on throwing him. He called that underhook. Evan Anderson, Aurora in green. And the Guzman. Oh, he almost 
green water. There's a kitchen sink, guys. As it's at your fault. Moves. So this is your 220 match. Toughest one day tournament in Ohio. Oh, the Invitational Tournament at GIT at Wadsworth. Russell Walker going arm drag. Walker's got some tricks in it. Russell's hard. Nice, beautiful right handed head inside single leg now. Four knees. And knees looking two. There it is. Takedown on the edge. We're going to get a V start. At 132 off the mat.
Cage just falls into that takedown with his forward motion. That was nice. See, no one needs to roll in here for Grant. He looks good. He's looking real strong.
on the mat. We're going to be looking at Jake Bever Bever of Ashland. He will be in the red pot. Who's got orange on with an A for Ashland? He's taken on Matt Holman of CDCA. The finalist in a row for CDCA. So here we go. By my man Shitty. The kid from the valley and his poor rugs. Um, well, we got all, all the props with us. We got defense. So, you know what? I got a BA shirt on. I'm stuck out here. BA shirt. We're good. 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 GIT here, Wadsworth. Clubs one day tournament in Ohio. CDCA's Matt Holman. Noticeable size of here. Against Bobber Bobber, a finalist, I want to say, at my diamond.
Look at it.